Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I feel like now would be a good time to express to you my opinions about diversity. And what brought this to the forefront to me is what's going on in our country. First, we have Mayor Pete, who his only, his only criteria for being selected Secretary of Transportation is he's a gay mayor from South Bend, Indiana. I want you to think him for a minute of all the different options that we could have as the Secretary of Transportation and we get that diversity for diversity's sake is beyond wrong. Then we have obviously a health and human resources secretary who is transgender. Do you think she, she was the best choice? Then you have good old Mayor Lightfoot from Chicago. Was a first, the first gay black mayor. That was so important to have. Look what's happened to that city. You know what? Diversity for diversity's sake is messed up. I think I speak for every rational, reasonable American when I say this. I support 1,000% equality of opportunity. 1,000% against discrimination. Aren't we? Ship has sailed. I want to tell you something. I grew up with this unbelievable apathy, watching the Waltons, watching Little House on the Prairie, all those moral stories. I never forget watching Roots and feeling so bad of what happened to Kunta Kinte. Cut off his foot. I remember watching the Cicely Tyson series, you know. Watch, I watched all those stuff. And you know what? No rational, normal American supports racial discrimination, gender discrimination, gay discrimination. But you know what? What we're saying is they should not be cheated out of an opportunity because they're gay, because they're black, because they're a woman, because they're an Asian, because they're Hispanic. No. But this is where we've gotten as a country is it's like, well, it's not that. We want to give them special rights to where you have diversity for diversity's sakes. And what happens when you have diversity for diversity's sake? Bad things happen. Bad things happen. Why? Because you get people that aren't qualified to do it. Let me give you an example. Let's say a white Caucasian and a black, a woman, or somebody who's gay are both applying for the same job. And the white, the gay, the woman, or excuse me, the black, maybe they're all in one. Let's say a black, let's do this. A black woman who's gay is competing with a white Caucasian male for a job. The white Caucasian male clearly is more qualified for that job. Shouldn't he get that job? Now, let's say this. The gay black female clearly is more qualified for the job. Shouldn't she get the job? See, what used to happen many, many years ago is you would have discrimination to where the black gay woman would never have a chance for that job because she was a black gay woman. Folks, I'm sorry. There might be a little bit of that in pockets here and there, but in the United States of America, that doesn't exist like it once did. It doesn't. We've gone 180 degrees to where it's like, hmm. And by the way, I want to tell you something else. I'm willing to say it. Nobody else is willing to say this. Do you know what's gone on in this country on the crime issue uh, since Obama? 
What's gone on the crime issue in these big cities, and it's reflected in defund the police, you know, all these, you know, these prosecutors who are liberal, no bail, you know, all those type of things. These black, liberal, woke prosecutors, mayors, chief of police, so forth and so on. You know what it is? It's paybacks are hell. That's what went on. That's what went on. You got Fox in Chicago. You got these other li woke liberal prosecutors, and they're like, it's our time now. Instead of just doing what's right, it was like, we're getting you back. And look what happens. Look what happened. Bad things happen. The black man has been persecuted in this country unfairly for so long. By golly, the black man is going to get the free ticket out of jail no matter what. They can crumble a city. They, they, these, these mobs can, Black Lives Matter, Atifa can tear down a city, burn buildings, steal, loot, everything else. But by golly, we're going to let that slide because paybacks are hell. And look what the hell happened to the country on the issue of crime. It's unbelievable. I, I can tell you right now, I know I preach to the choir because the people that watch my show think like I do. But that's the truth, what I just outlined. Diversity for diversity's sake is stupid. There isn't any fair-minded American that supports discrimination. I think most fair-minded Americans believe in meritocracy. You want the best surgeon. You want the best person. That's the way it ought to be. That's the way it ought to be. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.